Hey guys, what is up? Josh here with PlanetChinchilla.com. Welcome back to the channel. And for those of you that are new, Planet Chinchilla YouTube channel is designed specifically for new chinchilla owners or current chinchilla owners just looking for some fun, but more specifically new chinchilla owners who want to make the process as easy as possible, learning how to take care of these guys, all the ins and outs, everything you need to know about them, plus a little bit of fun every now and then. So if that is you, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can keep coming back and learning the ropes about how to care for these chinchillas. And guys, it's one of those typical times of the week where it is time to get Chili out of the cage, give her one of her weekly dust baths, get her out to interact, which is not just once a week, but this is one of the cage cleanings for this week. So I thought it would be fun to jump in there with her today. Haven't done that for the last few videos and make a video specifically because I haven't done it yet on this channel, shockingly enough, about why you should adopt a chinchilla if you are on the fence. With that being the case, guys, I wanna give you my top seven reasons why you should consider adopting a chinchilla, especially if you're on the fence right now, why you should be contacting that local breeder or the pet store, whatever that case may be, and pulling the trigger and moving forward with the adoption. That is coming up in about two seconds, so stick around. Move so you're on camera. You, come on now, you've done this a few times. Whoa, showing that butt off. All right guys, I'm gonna start diving into these reasons here. I am in the playpen with Chili for her dust bath. Just having a good time, but I wanna start diving into them. As long as she doesn't escape here, she'll probably scoot that back a little bit, huh? She's pretty clever like that. But reason number one, guys, is simple, but it's awesome. They're very clean pets to own. So what do I mean by clean? Man, she just really wants to get out of here. You're kind of looking at it right now when it comes to how clean these guys are. They need a dust bath. And outside of that, would you just chill out? Man, they need a dust bath. Outside of that, they need the cage cleaned. But overall, very clean animal. That cleans their fur. They never need a water bath. In fact, it's highly recommended against to do a water bath. You do have to clean the cage and they do poop a ton, but it is just hard little pellets. So extremely easy to clean up. I actually just use a shop vacuum most of the time after getting the main debris out of the cage. It's actually sitting out right now because I had every intention of using it on the playpen here when we were finished just to vacuum up all the dust or whatever poop she leaves in here. But that's it. That's all you got to do to keep these guys clean. Clean the cage, give them time to roll around in that dust, and you are good to go. Reason number two, guys, that you should definitely consider adopting a chinchilla, which does have a few caveats, but they are extremely cheap to raise and to own, which is a big deal when you're talking about owning a pet for 10, 15, or more years. Some chinchillas even live 20 plus. These guys, after you go through that initial adoption, which is the most expensive day, because you have things like this playpen, the cage, and all the initial accessories. After that, it gets extremely cheap and there's even little hacks you can do to make it cheaper. One of them is just switching to fleece liners so you never have to buy the Aspen shavings again. I have other videos that I'll link down in the description below discussing that, but as far as buying pellets, hay, and accessories, you're not looking at much money at all. One of the cheapest pets you can ever adopt and that's coming from somebody who spends money kind of even recklessly on her not just for these videos but because it's fun especially with the cage making the cage as cool as possible is fun but a lot of the stuff isn't absolutely necessary depending on you know the size of the cage and what you have so if you are on a budget but you can afford to, to do the initial adoption after that it's going to be extremely <laughs> cheap for you Guys, reason number three is these are shockingly loving pets once they warm up to you. I see a lot of people who've been dropping comments lately on the channel about them struggling to build that bond or their chinchillas nipped them a couple times. That's pretty normal to be honest with you, especially when you just get them. They're very timid in the beginning. They are a hunted animal in the wild that is just what they are naturally programmed to do so when you first get them you have to be patient you have to let them warm up to you something like this jess pet 
Playpen is a great way to do that. You've been watching the interactions with me and her in here so far, just in this video. But once they build that trust and that bond and you have exercised that patience, they're a very loving pet. They get to understand you as the owner and they do crave that attention. They wanna come out and they wanna interact with you so they can become a ton of fun in that respect after that initial period is over. Reason number four guys, and this one might be a little bit different than maybe some of the stuff you've seen online or on some of the channels, but I'm gonna give it its own label or, or how I characterize it, but they're very forgiving. So they are not gonna hold it against you if you go days without getting them out of the cage. They can be alone. They don't have to have that second chinchilla and they work around you, especially if you're raising them in an ethical way you know, throughout the duration of their life, they kind of start to figure out when they're coming out, you know, what the routine is. But when you miss sometimes here and there, they're not holding it against you. They're just as happy to come out the next time. So they're very forgiving in that manner. Okay, guys, number five. This is probably my favorite reason, and it's not because I'm lazy necessarily. It's just because I have two dogs. I've always... <laughs> put myself in situations where I get a pet that requires work, but these guys are so easy to own and to make happy as long as you do the little things right. I mean, you can leave them for a day if you need to. You get them out in a safe area, they're good to go. They need their food. Again, all those things are cheap, but cleaning the cage, I mean, it's elementary when it comes to owning a pet. Everything about these guys is easy. The hardest thing I would say is just being able to push through that initial period where they seem to hate you. But you have to understand that that's not just you. That is basically everybody who adopts a chinchilla goes through that unless they got lucky, which does happen, of course. But once that's over, it's awesome and it gets easier the entire time. And I know that there's probably people watching that are having a real tough time in the beginning. It will get easier. And for everybody who hasn't adopted a chinchilla yet, trust me, that phase will pass and then it's smooth coasting after that. She clearly wants to get out of this playpen today. But let's keep moving forward. I wanna dive into reason number six, which is these guys are just plain fun. For being a small little rodent like they are, even though they are considered kind of an exotic pet, they're entertaining, especially when they're not in this playpen, which in all honesty, they're pretty entertaining even in this playpen. I mean, she, they'll enjoy a dust bath, do crazy things inside of it, jump all over, get on your shoulders, jump on your head. They have a personality and they're willing to use it. And they are a lot of fun, especially even around my younger son. He loves getting in here with her or interacting anywhere where we have a safe spot set up. But again, you will have to push through those initial, you know, weeks in the beginning where they're warming up to you. Then after that, it starts becoming a lot of fun. I mean, it's honestly one of the reasons this channel was born is, I mean, it's worth putting on tape for sure guys my last reason reason number seven is something we've kind of already touched on here but i love the fact that you're getting you know for the work that you put in in that beginning phase you're getting you know a decade and a half or more out of these guys that's a long relationship it's worth putting in that effort to build the bond you get a long time of them being a part of the family which is awesome for a pet like this completely uncommon with other rodents that people choose to adopt like guinea pigs. I know rabbits live quite a while, um, but rats, gerbils, etc. you know, they're not long lifespan rodents aren't in general, but chinchillas are completely different if you take good care of them. So again, push through those initial weeks and you've got a long time of having your new best friend by your side, someone to play with each day when you get them out. It's pretty cool and makes it that much more worth it to consider adopting one of these guys. She seems not to be in the mood for much of anything today, huh? It's not really that shocking to me. It's kind of late. It's coming up on 10 p.m. right now. So she's out for a late one tonight. Had some other stuff going on, but I think she's about ready to go back into her cage as soon as I have it cleaned up. But anyways, guys, that's my seven reasons for why I would advocate adopting a chinchilla. They're awesome. If you're thinking about it, do it. Go for it. If you have questions, you can always comment on useful resources like this channel, other YouTube channels that I know are out there. Make sure you visit planetchinchilla.com. And again, this channel is specifically designed for new chinchilla owners to make it easier 
to answer frequently asked questions, to teach you how to do the things that you may not know how to do in the beginning with owning one of these guys. For current chinchilla owners, hopefully it's just entertaining and might answer a question to a something you just didn't know yet. So hopefully it's providing value to all of you. If it is, be sure to subscribe. Give me and Chili one of those thumbs up on these videos. We appreciate it. We appreciate all the subscribers we have now. <laughs> just popping in to say hey guys. And lastly guys, make sure you head on over to planetchinchilla.com. Check out the blog. Check out our newest ebook by going to ebook downloads. I will also put a link in the description below. It is a 100 plus page PDF ebook that me and Chili created here for you, breaking down every single thing that we think you need to know to make the adoption and on process as easy as possible. We have a promo going on it right now. It is Chin Care 50. You will use that at checkout. C H I N C A R E 50 at checkout for 50% off. Be sure to check that out. Again, be sure to subscribe and we will see you guys in the next video. We appreciate you stopping by. Take care.